Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and this is going to be a very special tutorial. This is going to be for the animators, uh, specifically 3D animators. So uh, I have been requested several times to do uh, basically a walk cycle. Whoops, let me replay that. And uh, just wanted to kind of show you how I make a walk cycle. And it all starts with getting reference and getting ready for an image sequence. So before I do anything, before I start animating, I always, always try to look for reference and then uh, get my scene ready, which is what I'm going to be showing you today. And the first thing you want to do is search for some sort of walk cycle. So if I type in female walk cycle or male walk cycle, anything like that, you can usually find these grids uh, with somebody walking in front of it. So that gives you an idea of how the pelvis moves, how the shoulders are swerving, what's going on with the head, what's happening with the feet. And I wish I could just loop this. Hold on a second. I'm sure there's a way to loop. Uh, can I just right click a loop? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, YouTube. So you can see how the hands are, what the hands are doing. So there's a lot going on when it comes to doing a walk cycle. So usually you wanna start out with a bouncy ball and then something with a tail and then legs because a whole humans actually, we're very complex. And we're so used to seeing humans every single day, including ourselves. We know if it's weird or not appropriate so or doesn't look right. So we wanna make sure that we capture those subtleties that make this character or this person have a uh, look not only alive, look real, but also have a personality. All right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the video that I'm going to be using. Um, what I usually do is for educational purposes, I do download it and convert it into an MP4. I've already converted it into an MP4. So that means that I can convert this into an, an image sequence. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate to you next. Now, I've done some research and I can't get my Maya to upload uh, an MP4, but um, I'm going to show you how I figured a way around it. If somebody can figure it out, please feel free to leave a comment below, but I couldn't get it to work in Maya 2019. That's okay. There is a million ways to uh, skin a cat, as they say. So um, I just go ahead and, and, all right, didn't work. I'll figure out a different way. So I'm going to show you guys how to use Adobe Encoder. And I also need a place to store all my images. So what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and create a new project. So let's go to file project window and I'm going to create new and I'm going to call this a female walk cycle. And you'll notice that I do have a 3D projects here. So that's where I'm going to find it and accept. This is going to help because I'm, when I convert my images, I know where to go, I'm going to place them. So what I'm going to do is place my female standard walk cycle and place it into the uh, movies of my project that I just created. So female walk cycle and there's a folder called movies. I'm going to put it there. So encoder. So I'm going to grab my movie, drag it over here. TIFF. Just scroll down all the way to TIFF, to TIFF which means it's going to be a TIFF sequence. Click on here. And um, let's see, I'm in my fi file walk cycle. I'm going to go to my movie. So I've got my, I created a folder called TIFF sequence. Go ahead and put it in here. And female walk cycle. I would avoid any spaces. I uh, either put underscores or no spaces. That usually helps Maya read files appropriately. Um, anytime it sees a space, sometimes it adds an underscore for you, but sometimes it adds a percent 20. And when it adds a percent 20, sometimes it thinks, you're trying to do math and then it starts to calculate words with math and it doesn't work. So to avoid all of that, you can just leave no spaces or put underscores. Dot and then I just add a zero. You have to have a dot zero zero one or Maya can't read it. When I save and press play, there you go. So now we have a TIFF sequence that starts with zero 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 and then zero 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 one two three four five which is perfect all right great now let's go into Maya we're gonna create a plane gonna lift it up a little bit I'm gonna assign a new material and then I'm gonna click on color I chose a Lambert um, I want something with no highlight information uh, you could create a surface shader uh, but a Lambert sometimes is just nice and plain so no worries there click on file Click on this little folder and I uh, copied and pasted it. So I'm going to go here and select. I usually select zero one. It doesn't really open. It doesn't matter. And then open. 
All right, so it doesn't look like anything's happened. I'm going to press the number six, and you can see that she is in here, which is great. But there is no animation. All right, well, how do we fix that? Let's go back to our file. Over here, we're going to use Use Image Sequence. And now, as I scrub, you're going to see that we now have a walk cycle, and it's working. Now, how it works is this little handy expression. If you go to image number, uh, and I'm in frame 98, it actually looks for frame 98. Right now it says 001, but um, it actually calculates, like, can you see how it says 45, 45, 50, 50? It actually gives you a frame, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and set this up. It is really handy. By the way, this method is not to just use for references. What you can also do is you can put in like television, like if your character is watching TV, you can put image sequence on the television. Uh, if you want lightning in the background, you can use image sequence like outside a window. You can use an image sequence instead of actually creating lightning. Uh, you can do all sorts of stuff with image uh, animated image sequence. Let's find out what the, what the, let's go to right click properties, details, the aspect ratio is 640 by 360. So I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna bring this to 11.496 so that it's even. Then I'm gonna freeze this transformations. Oh man, I got the worst memory. Um, I'm sure somebody remembers. I even screwed up 640 by 360. 6.4 by 3.6, bam, bam, oops, wrong one, 3.6, bam, there we go. Whee, all right, just to be safe, delete this, uh, freeze the transformations. You can also delete the history if you like and place it where you like, and we are basically ready to go. Uh, let's find what's going on here, let's press six. So this is going to be the front, I'm gonna place her right, kind of place her right in the middle, Duplicate this. Oops, 90 degrees. Let's see, press six here as well. And then put her, where, is, where did I lose the grid? There it is. Put her somewhere around the same spot. Now lucky for us, there's a grid. So her toes are gonna be pretty close and uh, it's gonna look really, really nice. Um, can work with this. I might have to move this back a little bit. Just double check again on all views that the front is at the front. She's kind of in the middle. So I'm looking at the middle of her head. She's standing like that. Just kind of place her right in the middle. It's going to help when we start copying frames over. And then here she is standing. So now as we scrub, we'll be able to see the character or this particular person walk. And let's see how far she goes. She goes to 616. So that's what I'm going to type in here. So I got to watch her. Now she walks a couple of times. We really just need one cycle. All right. So we actually just want her to step forward and step here. And then it basically repeats again as she, so it's like, um, it's a walk cycle. It repeats. So we won't need all 600 frames, but this is a really good start. Cool. All right, that is a quick tutorial on how to create image sequences from beginning to end, from YouTube to um, MP4 to uh, make an image sequence, bring it into Maya, make sure everything's ready to go, and we, the next step would be to animate. But again, this is not just for animation. This can be used for multiple things. So hopefully that was helpful. Don't forget to, again, center when you're done, center the pivot, delete the history, freeze the transformations, file, save scene, and you're ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna save it. It's gonna be a uh, female walk cycle version one scene setup. So you notice that I always put underscores, I rarely put spaces. Uh, I'm also using an ASCII file, not a binary file, so just FYI. Um, ASCII can be open in previous versions versus um, and future versions versus MP, uh, Maya binaries, also known as MBs. They have a tendency to only stick to Maya 2019 or the 17 or whatever it was created. So it kind of helps if you use an ASCII file and you can edit it. Uh, okay, let's save. And now we're ready to bring in our character and start, and I'm gonna push this back, and start animating.
I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to take a look at academicphoenixplus.com for more uh, more tutorials. There's uh, free downloads, free ebooks, videos, training, and more. And uh, don't forget to please subscribe because that encourages me to create more and also leave comments and if um, what you think. Hopefully, you did find this helpful, and um, hopefully, uh, you learned something new. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys, keep creating, and I will see you next time.